Hey guys, welcome back to this pay unit tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to see how to calculate the pay unit impedance of a generator. The following diagram is a representation of a generator with an internal impedance of J12 and uh, which is a purely inductive internal impedance. And then we have the, the total apparent power that the generator is able to supply, which is 1000 volt ampere. So that is one kilovolt ampere. And the generator is able to supply a voltage pressure of 440 volt. This tutorial is asking us to calculate the pay unit impedance so we must not confuse the internal impedance with the pay unit impedance so it's two different things the internal impedance is basically the internal resistance now the internal pay unit impedance will be the representation in pay unit form that is important when we're doing pay unit calculation if we want to determine the maximum fault current that can flow from a generator so this is the calculation we're going to do. Now, I'm sure we all know what is an internal impedance. For instance, in a case of a battery, let's say we have a battery, which is represented like this. So this is a battery with our electrode. So we got the mine, a positive and we got a negative electrode. Now, if we connect something here, like a light bulb, what we're going to have is the current is going to flow conventional flow from the positive to the negative and the light bulb will glow now the amount of power that will be transferred from this battery obviously the current that will flow the the, the, the larger current will make the light bulb to glow uh, brighter but that depends on the internal resistance because we have to balance both the internal resistance and the resistance of the load but we know that the internal impedance of the battery or any other power supply must be very small so that with a smaller impedance connected we're going to have a maximum power transfer and then we're going to have a huge amount of a large amount of current that will flow so this is basically what we're going to calculate in this tutorial the internal pay unit impedance of a generator so let's see how we're going to do it uh, i would like to also appeal if you like this tutorial please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to simtech channel and hit the bell so that you don't miss tutorial like this that will be highly appreciated now moving forward on our tutorial we know that a uh, vg which is equal to 440 volt is the generator voltage okay and it is supplying a maximum capacity of one kilovolt ampere that the generator can pump through and j12 is its internal impedance as we have stated earlier so now we've got uh the the, the voltage the generator voltage we've got uh, the apparent power which is the base apparent power in this case and we've got an internal impedance so in this case j12 j12 here is the internal impedance of the generator which is z actual in our per unit calculations so the z of the generator which is equal to z actual is equal to j12 and when we convert that to polar form, because from a rectangular form to polar form, we found that it is equal to 12 with an angle of 90 degree. So the 90 degree here specify that it is purely inductive because the impedance here only have the imaginary part. It doesn't have the real part. So it's purely inductive. So now that we know what is the internal impedance of a generator, or what we also call as the Z actual, we can then calculate the Z per unit. We can then calculate the internal per unit impedance of the generator with the formula Z per unit internal will be equal to Z actual over ZB. But now what is ZB? 
Now we've seen in the previous uh, per unit tutorial that ZB must be calculated with the voltage, the base voltage of that zone squared and divided by the apparent power. So that is this formula here. So in this case, our zone voltage is the, the voltage of the generator, which is we then square it and our SG, which is the S of the generator is the 1000 volt ampere. So we replace in the formula, we get a ZB of 193.6 ohm. Now from this point here, we know that we just need to replace this value into this formula because we already have this value. And that will then give us a Z per unit internal of 12 with an angle of 90 divided by 192.6. And that give us a J 0.062 per unit. What does this mean? This mean this generator have this per unit value. Now using this per unit value, you can calculate what the maximum fault current can flow in this generator in case we have a short here. You'll know how much current will flow based on this per unit because you can use the per unit uh, formula to calculate what's the current that will be one over z per unit total. So in this case, this 0, 0.062 is the total uh, per unit from this generator here. So we know that the generator is purely inductive. Thank you for watching. We have come to the end of this tutorial. If you found it useful, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That will be highly appreciated. Cheers.